Pudgy Penguins. This one project is taking the entire Web3 space by storm and has become the talk of the town. If you don't know who Pudgy Penguins are, you've probably been living under a rock because the whole space has been talking about them. Reason being, they recently launched their toy collection on Amazon and made half a million dollars in their first couple hours of being on the platform. So in today's video, we are going to be looking, how did Pudgy Penguin manage to become the talk of the town, manage to gain so much traction, respect, and authority in the NFT space during a time where, although they are not the only ones striking IP deals, they're not the only ones building products, building merch, launching new initiatives, and trying new things, they're not the only ones doing that, but they are the ones that have succeeded at it and have caught the attention of the NFT space the best. So today's video is a case study of Pudgy Penguin, so we can learn and understand what exactly has been happening to Pudgy Penguin and how can we replicate this within our project, within our brand, on our journey, and on our quest to building the next blue chip project in the NFT space. I believe this example would be worthy to draw a parallel between what is happening with, for example, Doodles and what is happening with Pudgy Penguins. Both of these projects are kind of working on the intellectual property of their collection. They both want to become household, worldwide recognizable brands. And both of those have been working with global brands to help push their content and reach wider masses, especially in the Web2 space. Now here's what happened, the founder, of Doodles comes out and says, we are no longer an NFT project in the sense where he was saying that we are more than an NFT project and was inviting his community in on this greater vision. And what ends up happening, the whole community FUDs, price crashes, Doodle becomes the laughing stock of the NFT space for a couple weeks. And Doodles right now is slowly losing its relevance and its authority that it had in the NFT space as we speak versus Pudgy Penguins, who comes out and all of a sudden they launch a toy brand. Without explicitly saying that they are a toy brand, they are positioning some that, themselves that way. And the entire NFT space is like, go Pudgy, go Pudgy. So what is happening there? Studying this phenomenon, studying this parallel, the difference in response from the community and from the NFT space. So I've come to conclude that the story of Pudgy Penguin in truth is a story of community and a story of community strength. And why Pudgy Penguins were able to succeed that way was because they had the perfect chemistry, the perfect formula to building the strong community that they have today that has supported them, pushed them, and really become their number one avid fans. So today, we're going to be looking at the case study of Pudgy Penguin through the lens of community building. And this is one I myself am very passionate about. I've been building communities, it's been almost a decade now, since 2015. I've started building communities in the content space a couple of years back when I was doing fitness content with my first YouTube channel back then called Jump Rope Mentor. Was aiming to teach people my passion, which is jumping rope. As I was studying at university, transitioned that into building a global engineering community called Worldwide Engineering, and today, kind of took that skills and knowledge and I'm applying that in the Web3 space where community is key. So I myself love the essence of community building. I think the best way to build brands and the best way to change the world is by building strong communities around your brands. And the concepts of building a strong community can be boiled down to five main pillars. And those are concepts that I've learned in many books that I'm going to be referencing here. One of them being Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. We got Start With Why by Simon Sinek. And finally, 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Believe it or not, a lot of concepts you can learn from that book about community building. So community building comes down to five main pillars that you can replicate in your project that we're going to be looking at in the lens of Pudgy Penguin. The first one is leadership that inspires emotion. The second one is active engagement within the community. Number three, exclusivity. Number four, we get a clear vision and a clear path to going there. And number five is actively innovating and working towards that path. Vision and innovation towards that vision. So let's look through those. Here's a quick summary of each one and here's how it has been working in the context of Pudgy Penguin and here's why it has not been working, for example, with other projects. So leadership that inspires emotion. Communities are built around leaders. In the context of D-Gods, they're built around Frank D-God. In the context of Pudgy Penguins, they're built around Luca Nets. In the context of Nike, for example, Nike has positioned themselves where their athletes 
are the leaders of the community. Nike shows you an ad with excellent athletic performance and they put their athletes in the middle. So leadership that inspires emotion, be genuine in your interactions with your followers. Authenticity inspires trust and loyalty. Appeal to people's emotion. This can be achieved by creating a compelling narrative and story about your community and its mission. In the context of Pudgy Penguin, ladies and gentlemen, the project in and of itself is a story of inspiration. I don't know if you guys have been on Twitter in the last month. If you have, you've probably seen a thread about the incredible comeback story of Pudgy Penguin. How Pudgy Penguin went from being a rug project all the way to being bought by Lucanet from his pocket for $2.5 million. So Luca bought the project Pudgy Penguin with $2.5 million and then build the project from ground up and all of a sudden have the top performing NFT project in the NFT space right now, Q2 2023. So the simple story of Luca Nett, someone who was a community member in Pudgy Penguins, saw what was happening to it and decided to raise his hand and be like, you know what guys, I'm gonna buy this out of my own pockets, take the risk, and I'm gonna lead this and take this to the moon. Just this story in and of itself is inspiring and has become the core, has become the cocoon around which the community of Pudgy Penguin has been coming together to find warmth. I personally do strongly believe that Pudgy Penguins would not be what it is if it wasn't for the story of Lucanets. Rule number two, active engagement. Actively engage within your community regularly. This could be through events, online discussions, or simply showing up and showing people that you care. Now, this point right here, number two, is what we've seen, the phenomenon we've seen with Frank D. God from the D. God's community. Frank D. God might not have the inspiring story that Luke and has, but what Frank D. God has been doing is showing up every day for his community, being the spokesperson for his community, and leading his community, being at the front of the crowd. Every time you'd go on a Twitter spaces, Frank D. God is there. Every time you'd go on a crypto related or NFT related podcast, Frank D. God has been on. Every time there's a big Web3 event, there's Frank D. Gods there with the D. Gods community. They're everywhere. And that's how Frank was able to build his brand and people started seeing that founder, charismatic, and people wanted to bet on him. And same applies for Luca Nets, the founder of Pudgy Penguin. He's been applying the exact same framework always on Twitter spaces, every time there's an important announcement, launches a Twitter space, gets the community to jump in, has been on podcasts, actively becoming the spokesperson for the NFT project. Because remember, in the NFT space right now, people are not buying into the project for the utility. People are not even interested in utility at this stage. People are interested in communities and communities are built around strong leaders. So it's number two, active engagement. Recipe element number three you need on your quest to building the next blue chip project is exclusivity. So exclusivity can make your community feel exclusive and can enhance its appeal. This can be achieved by setting certain standards or by having some form of membership. I actually have a story for you to illustrate the importance and the power of exclusivity. If you guys didn't know, my consulting agency on Fungible is based and incorporated in Dubai. So we got the bank accounts, everything is in Dubai, which means I am pretty regularly there. Last time I was in Dubai, April 2023, just a couple months ago, I get there and one day I post a picture of my view from my office building in downtown Dubai. A couple minutes after me posting that picture, I get a message from this one guy and the message says, hey Leon, I just saw you're in Dubai. We both work in the Web3 space. I would love to connect over coffee. So we go on a back and forth, try organizing something. The guy used to be a startup founder, sold his company, and now he works with the UAE government to create standards for the crypto regulation. The guy tells me, Leon, let's go meet at the arts club. It's a private club in the middle of the Dubai International Financial District. So I get there one evening and I get greeted at the reception by these very lovely hostesses. And they tell me, okay, go to floor number three. On my way to the third floor, I'm walking there or looking around. I'm like, okay, so floor number one, there's an Italian restaurant. Floor number two, there's a Japanese restaurant. Floor number three, Peruvian restaurant. And every one of those floors can seat about seven, 800 people. It's a full restaurant, beautiful place. And the whole building is seven floors with the top floor being a rooftop terrace. So I get there and I meet the guy and I'm like, hey man, very nice meeting you. We on a quick chit chat. And then I ask him, I'm like, quick question, buddy. How does it work to be here, to get access to this place? He's like, yeah, man, absolutely. So there's really three requirements 
for you to be able to make a membership here. The first one is you need to get two invitations from other members of this club, so two endorsements. Number two, you need to be either a politician, a celebrity, or an entrepreneur. And number three, you need to pay $36,000 a year to be a member here. And that just gives you access to the space, just gives you access to the restaurant. So when he says that, I look at him and then I'm, I look around and I see the places is jam packed with people. I'm like, man, this place could see thousands of people at any moment. So they probably have tens of thousands of members. And this made me realize these are tens of thousands of people paying $36,000 per year just to have access to this place. And in my head, this made me realize that this helped fortify this concept that I already knew, which is how much of a market there is for exclusivity. Now, the beautiful thing in the context of our conversation with Pudgy Penguins is that NFTs create exclusivity. They are one mechanism to create exclusivity. That's why there is such a big potential product market fit for NFTs within context of community. For example, every one of the art club's members could have an NFT that they could use and display in their digital wallets at home, show off, use in any different way as in you just walk into the venue and you show your NFT. So by nature, NFTs create exclusivity. So I won't necessarily be covering that. However, if you are, for example, in the context of building your community, you haven't launched the NFT yet, so you haven't used the exclusivity building mechanism of NFTs yet, while you're building your community, you're going to want to create some form of exclusivity. And one way of doing that that is very common is by having different roles within your Discord channel to label different members. One very popular one is by having, for example, the OG members, the first 100, the first 500, the first 1000 members that join your Discord, they have a special role. You can call them, for example, the founding members of your community. Another way of doing that is by hand selecting the members. There's there's this one Web3 analytics tool called NFT Inspect. And NFT Inspect, for example, if you're an influencer in the top 250 on their analytics tool and you join their Discord, you're gonna have a special role just because you're there. So although NFT Inspect does not have it, an NFT per se, they're building some form of exclusivity and rewarding their special members with that role. So that was number three, exclusivity. Number four recipe of a successful community is having a clear vision. Be clear about your goals and communicate this vision effectively to your community. This will help you unite your followers and give them a clear sense of purpose. From the very beginning, Pudgy Penguin had a very clear vision. They had a very clear objective, which is spreading good vibes around the meta, whether that's in Web 2, whether that's in Web 3, whether that's in Web 1, their goal is to spread good vibes. They've always been transparent about that and they've always embodied that culture. And if you are a community member and you believe in the concept that one way to make the world a better place is by spreading good vibes, then you will resonate with Pudgy Penguin. And the fifth element that you need, so all those are beautiful, but they're all theoretical. The fifth that you need is actively innovate on the path to that vision. So we have the leader that engages with the community, that creates exclusivity and makes the community feel good, and they have a vision going there. Actively working towards that vision and actively taking the steps moving the community forward. Challenge the status quo in your industry and look for ways to innovate on your way to spreading your vision and bringing it to life. Being innovative can help you stand out and attract more followers. And the way Pudgy Penguins did that, and I have to give them credit for that. And while the whole space, every project out there has been competing for the attention of the Web3 audience on Twitter, Pudgy Penguin went full 360 and went completely on Instagram and started creating animations of their penguins that are very Web2 native, that are very relatable to the typical person that people can send to their loved ones, to their husband, to their wife, to their friends, to their family. They've innovated with the Pudgy Penguins GIFs, which I believe have received a couple billion impressions with a B. They've built an audience of more than half a million followers on Instagram and have launched their toy brand, which has made half a million dollars in their first 48 hours of them selling on Amazon. So this is an example how Pudgy Penguins have led the way and are actively taking action within what they believe. And all those elements combined together have built the strongest community for Pudgy Penguins. Because if we are to look, for example, and make a parallel back to our first example of doodles, Doodles might have a lot of those elements, but they also don't have most of them. For example, Doodles does not have a leadership that inspires emotion. 
the founder of Doodles is very disconnected from the community and they do not engage. I even remember at some point they didn't tweet for a whole month and a half, two months, just like whoosh, laser silence, no activity on the Doodles account. That's not the right thing for community strength. Moonbirds, another project that's been facing some challenges right now in the NFT space. They also don't have that leadership that inspires the founders. They're very much built in silence and then come in public and make an announcement. And the announcements they've been coming up with have not been that innovative and haven't been showing the community that they are actively on their path to the right direction, where they came out with a partnership with Spotify, where Spotify is testing token gated playlist and, and Moonbirds was test community. Although this is like, this is pretty cool. You know, a partnership with Spotify, the community came out and they said, so we paid 15 ETH $30,000 to have access to a playlist. So it shows you how you know disconnected this is versus Spongy Penguin, they came out with $20 toys and all of a sudden the whole community is raving after them. So ladies and gentlemen, the five elements, leadership that inspires emotion, an active engagement of that leadership within the community. Number three, exclusivity. Number four, clear vision. Number five, actively innovating on the path forward. These ladies and gentlemen are the five elements that made Pudgy Penguins who they are today and the five elements you can learn to deploy your own project. Now, if you like this video and want to keep learning, I'm going to be attaching another video that I think you're going to like. And if you need help on your journey to building your NFT or Web3 product or brand, we can help. All you need to do is get in contact with us by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in the very next one. Ciao.